This short little video is on how to check the accuracy of the micrometer before you make an actual measurement with it. So if I use this micrometer here, which is a two to three inch micrometer, and I'm gonna use this two inch gauge block with it, that's exactly two inches. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna set this down so I can show you here. So I'll open up the micrometer by turning the thimble until I can fit the gauge block between the anvil and the spindle. And then I'm going to turn the thimble till it's just about touching right here. It's just about touching right there. Then I'm going to turn it by the ratchet. And see, see here clicking? Okay. So then I'm going to lock it so it can't move and I'm going to look at how accurate it is. If I look down with this, on the thimble here is a zero and I follow that line and it lines up with the zero on the sleeve and the zero mark coming up, I can see it vertically coming up here zero, zero, zero. All three of those lines come together. That tells me this micrometer is accurate. So whatever I measure, I know I am getting an accurate reading when I use this micrometer because I checked it with the gauge block and it is dead on. Here's a micrometer here, which um, it's a, one, a zero to one inch micrometer. And when I put the gauge block in there and turn the ratchet, and I'll lock it. All right, and then when I hold it up, when I look at this one, oh, let's see if I can do it. Come on, camera. My camera doesn't want to focus. All right. Here's the zero mark on the sleeve, the vertical zero mark. And here's the zero mark also on the sleeve. And when I follow that across, those two line up. But the zero mark on the thimble is nowhere as close to the other two zero marks down here. So this micrometer is not accurate. If I count here, there's 20, 21, 21, 22, 23, 24, all right? And then there's zero. That zero should be right there. So this is off. Oh, we're gonna learn this part in the next little video, but this micrometer is off by one thousandths of an inch. And it's, it's, it's under by one thou, okay? Because it's, we're only at 24, not 25. So it's under by one thou, which means if I'm not going to take the time to correct it by taking it apart, which I would be doing, not you as the student, but me as the teacher would fix that, you could still use this micrometer, but since it's under by one thousandths of an inch, whatever reading I take of my object, all I need to do is take that reading and then add one thou to it, and then I will have the accurate reading. So even though this is not accurate from the point of view of when it's supposed to be zero, it's not zeroed, I know what it's off by. So if I know what it's off by, I can correct my reading so I will have an accurate reading. If it's under by a thou or two thou or three thou, you just add that equivalent to your reading. If I check this right now, this micrometer, and say it was over by two thou, not under, but over by two thou, I would take off two thou from my actual measurement. So you do the opposite. If it's under, add. If if it's over, minus. Okay, so you gotta do the opposite. And, but hopefully, your micrometer will be dead on, just like this one is, so I don't have to do any of those extra little adjustments to my reading afterwards. And that is how you check the accuracy of your, of your micrometer before you use it, by using a gauge block, and don't over tighten it. Remember, you turn by the thimble first, and then by the ratchet, until it clicks, and then you tighten the lock screw, and then see if it lines up zero, zero, zero.